Holla at your boy, yes, it's LAK, yeah, live in the building. Live and direct. Give me one second. Uh, us TV, yep. Just made me a raw taco. Got some uh, tomatoes, ginger, onions, peppers. Yeah, yeah. For those that be like, yo, my man, I thought you was a vegan and all of that stuff. And you said you didn't do that. Listen, man. When you um going through the process, gotta survive, right? Yeah. Sometimes we have to make way of what God has presented us with, and um. I got a few topics on my mind, nothing specific, but to get specific. First, I wanna talk about content and music, right? The audience that we live in now is like super trendy, right? Do that. Bang. It's still a rap. Still the event's still coming. It just got um colossal. So it's still a rap. Boom. Yeah. Event still on deck. So people want content, right? For music that um, they necessarily don't even relate to, but they want to hear it, right? Or they relate to it so much that they don't want to hear it because it's too vivid and real, I guess. So as an artist, you become confused, right? You become confused because you want to feed the audience based off of the necessities and the scarcity of what they're craving, right? Cheers. Based off of what they're craving, right? But sometimes the audience is so trendy that they're only craving what everyone else is craving. Mm hmm So, You yourself as an artist, being in control of your canvas, one has to be aware of the topic of conversation that's around you. And why it's important to speak on those topics or speak on the topics that it's being spoken around you, but it's not musically conveyed because people are afraid to push the notch and push the buttons of conversation that disrupts media.
people are being in control of who pushes the content out to the media. But the people that are in control of who's pushing out the content to the media aren't in tune with the society or the evolution of how things are progressing. So they have a template of what they want to hear, right? <clears throat> Which is not necessarily what your audience wants to hear or you being conscious to say that I'm gonna create an avenue of a message that's not being delivered. So let me talk about it or let me talk about this same message, but deliver it in a different way, right? Let me deliver this content that's already out there, but here's my sauce on it. Here's my spin on it. Here's how I um, perceive that data. And how can I feed you that data musically to where it's not um, boring to your ears, right? It's not boring to your ears. And you can sit there and be like, yo, he ain't give me a whole spill and like, um, grammatically and prestatically and systematically, it's just a catastrophe, but, but he said, Yo, I know you feeling like this, cause I got the rhythm like this that make you put it like this. And now you get the picture cause it's like this. If you feel it like this, you feel me? And now you get it. So it's about finding different deliveries and sometimes finding target markets that you could deliver to. Mm -hmm being conscious of how they want it to be delivered and also introducing them to ways that it can be delivered because um, life is to be evolved and things uh, things come in style, fashion, and culture, you know? And culture dictates the motion of fashion, styles, trends, styles, patterns, stuff like that. So what I noticed is with artists, the reason why I guess it has taken me so long, see, confirmation, boom, is that I have to give people content so they could see who I am and get to know me as far as before you get to see me in person, right? You got to see the becoming of who I am in different phases. to go through those phases but it doesn't have to but one chose to go through those phases on the social media platform right not to be a clout chaser and stuff like that to give people content so that when I deliver the music that um is of of myself, and it's believable. And not in a sense where I'm 
I'm like destructive in a um, literal sense, but I'm disruptive in a convers conversational aspect to where I challenge the perspectives of the listener or I feed the soul of a listener based off of my perspective or how I can deliver and channel my sonics in relation to their lives and how they see things. Uh, excuse me. So there's different phases and different um, transitions. <clears throat> and what that is, <clears throat> spicy baby. And what that is is You get to channel different aspects of how you become a vessel of that energy that's delivered to the um, masses. So there's business, um, there's food, there's um, sex, you feel me? There's um, leisure time, there's um, hobbies, gifts, other um, lifestyles of choice, basically like, um, you know, I'm athletic. You know, I like to um, make different types of food and, you know, I, I enjoy playing, I enjoy gambling. You feel me? I enjoy um, going in my car and playing music and riding to music and stuff like that, right? So you got to see different things. You got to see that I like to invest and I like to build businesses and structures so that I could create platforms that one has to... Um, one can use as a blueprint or a template or become a part of <laughs> or have a um, like a template to you know build off of so instead of me all the time explaining it to you and dropping um, sales, sales, as, 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 as. I give it to you in different flavors, right? Different flavors, different styles, different um, deliveries so that different audience members can see where they fit in based off their relations of delivery styles topics and um positioning based off their perception on how things are supposed to be said delivered or how action is supposed to be taking place so you have a choice to look at something disagree with it and do it how you want to do it. Or you can look at something and be like, okay, I agree with that. I like that. Let me add that to how I want to do things, you know? And in pertaining to music, um, the people that are picking the content sometimes have no air for what's relevant or what's different because of the standardized way of thinking and the um, lack of not being in tune 
with the plethora and variations of sonics based off of how music can be manipulated and um, <laughs> diversified based off one's individuality of how music flows from them. So you have a lot of debates of what's real hip hop, or what's not hip hop, what's bars and whatever. And then if I was to sit down with someone who was perceiving a painting of mine, which is music sonically sometimes, right? Or the digital artwork, and we have a conversation and we say, y'all listen to your music, man. I ain't like this and I ain't like this and I like that. And then I say, so, okay, you explain to me what I was talking about. Then they got their own perspective of what we was talking about. Then they said, I'm like, bro, sis, I wasn't even talking about that. Right? Then they're like, mm, oh, you was talking about that. So now there's a disconnect based off of understanding and perspectives because one can look at the value of someone and say, I don't value that. Then another person says, well, I see value in it. And that's the challenge because we all looking at different things from different values and sale points. And one, I myself has to introduce myself with a certain sale point or perspective that can um, set myself apart, not from competition, but in the diversification of what I bring to the table, right? Just so people know that the aspect that I came with is of my own and it's of my perspective. And here's what I'm bringing to the table. So to look at myself just as an artist who's trying to do music, I don't even look at myself in that perspective or in that light. I look at myself as a mogul. I look at myself as a entrepreneur. I look at myself as a multifaceted individual that was giving gifts. Some giving gifts and others, half of half of me are like God giving gifts and other half of me are self-made skills. So everything wasn't just a gift. The gift was life and, and being alive so that I could learn skills to make myself equipped for opportunity and be prepared. The other aspect of me was being aware of the gifts that God has given me and being able to sharpen my skills and mold them into professionalism or mold them into a way that was unique so I could identify with what I bring to the table as far as my uniqueness and my God-given abilities. The challenge of that is you have to sort out those gifts and make choices of why you chose to pick these gifts as your leading point to get to segues that open up doors to different aspects of who you are. There's, there's not just one chosen one, there's chosen ones. And you have to choose 
to make yourself of that. Um, demographic of believers who um, sought out to put those put themselves in that light of the gifted, the talented, and the workers, right? And there's many different circles of this light, but it's where you want to be. And you being able to express your position of why you belong in an aspect without having to forcefully explain your reasoning, but making a choice to deliver the reasoning so that people coming behind you, right, who don't have direction can have a roadmap to success. And with you having a roadmap to success, it doesn't necessarily give you the key to success because the key to success is putting in the work, right? And when you put in the work, you're provided with opportunity and moments that are gifted to you to propel your platforms and transition into another level of who you became to be, right? That's why it's so important to read the book, Become Before Becoming Online Now, right? Link in description. We have so many gifts, so many talents, but the world is oversaturated of industries and time is of the essence. The world is abundant, but there's a gift of choice, right? And the gift of choice is you being able to make a decision on what you chose to do and why you chose to do it and how. And also living with the gift of not beating yourself up for not making a choice based off of the pressure around you. Bro, you didn't pass the test. You didn't go to the gym or you didn't, um, you trying out a new recipe, it didn't go well for you the first time. Or you did something that you don't necessarily feel too happy about there's a gift in transitioning from that period so that you could use that moment as a tool of um, learning so you can gain wisdom on how to move next time, right? And also learn aspects of who you are that you can deal with because you know that that's a part of your characteristics that you may want to change, you may want to, or you know how to gauge it and channel it or act accordingly based off of certain situations. So the content of music is everlasting and abundant. And there are people in control because there has to be a structure in the industry 
but there also has to be people on a panel that are diverse <laughs> in the education in the knowledge of music so that the choices that are being made of why certain music should be introduced needs to be enhanced and evolved for artists such as like myself and artists like myself meaning that I spent so many years studying music because when I first started doing music seriously right the gift was a joke so I could come up with beats I could say certain things certain melodies it was a joke it was like okay I could do this it was a joke I'm not taking it serious then you start to listen to content and you start to listen to what people are talking about and you get to see different skill forms of how it's being delivered, right? Then you have other skills that you'd be like, okay, well, I know I have this skill and ability. And I just seen someone just like myself use that skill and ability to get to a certain level or aspect or position in life. And I'm here, how can I use these skills and ability to put myself in position so that I'm not just on the consumer end of things, but I'm on the ownership side of things, right? So it is a balance. So I'm a consumer and I'm an owner. I'm a fan and I'm the headliner. You know what I mean? I'm the opener and I'm the headliner. How can you understand those aspects and become a student of music and of the industry and of you and of your surroundings to where you know that, okay, I want to be this. Yo, I want to be the artist. I want to be the songwriter. I want to be the producer. I want to be the manager. I want to be the accountant. I want to be the lawyer. I want to be... Uh, the entrepreneur, I want to be the merchandiser, I want to be the IT support, I want to do that type of stuff. How the studying of the phases, the content, you start to immerse yourself, I think that's the right word, into that world. So naturally, you become piece of the puzzle that fulfills the destiny of the whole piece of the puzzle, the cake, the whole piece of the shebang, the whole piece of the infrastructure, the skyscraper. You, what floor are you on? What did you, are you the construction worker? Are you the janitor? Are you the lobby worker? Or are you in the suite? Do you own the suites? Do you own the building? Do you own the block? Are you the maintenance? Are you that? Like, you gotta find out where you fit in. Feel me? And I've been able to get a perspective of all of these different channels because I've played roles in many different positions all while I was able to have the gift of expressing it musically um, and having the ability of another gift with his speech so musically, I could combine my speech with the gift of 
melody because the body is an instrument and I'm able to deliver projections of cinema through speech musically based off of my natural instrumentals or the given instrumentals presented by other musically individuals that need a painter to paint on their canvas, which is the instrumentals. Because your instrument is the mental, right? You instrumental, you instrumental, right? Or imaginary mentals, right? So content is important and it has to be a level of introducing content and also a, um, a filter of content to where someone is able to teach that even though I'm expressing the good, bad, and the ugly, does it mean that I have to act on every single aspect of what I'm saying? Sometimes I could just express it or listen to it, but be aware that that was the emotion of the artist and not the everyday action of what that artist is going through. But he gave you a piece of information that you could use as a source of relation <laughs> so that you can use it as a way of channeling energy to do something positive, no matter how negative the content may be. You feel me? Cause the content is supposed to like, damn yo, I felt that bro. You, you like, I felt that. But you have to be aware of like, okay, in this side of the in this side of the song, he was talking about being violent, right? But then on this aspect of the song, he was talking about getting money. So in the society that we live in, you can't get too far trying to be too violent and shit like that, right? But I know I could get far getting this money. I know I could get far um, talking about this uh, or using this uh, speech or content as an ambiance for the for the event. So it creates a vibe. Or I could use this for my movie. My that's why there's scores for music, because the music the mu the movie can be depicted, right? Based off of the content of the music, because the actors are playing a role of that thing, right? And it's not actually being done because you know you're my mu the music is making the world like this. The music is only making the world, or the con or the media, makes the world do certain things only because there has to be a filter of um, teachers that teach of what not of how to receive and how to. Um, how do you say how to digest information without being destructive in a sense where um you're blaming it on the trajectory of society.
because without the things occurring in society, the music wouldn't be, be created. People are making content based off of what they see. But if you change the structure of the society, then the music becomes different because you no longer see that thing in society. So I won't necessarily have to rap or sing about that because I didn't see it. But what I seen was this, that, and the third, and I was only painting the picture based off what I was, what I seen around me. And that has to do with structure of what society is. And I'm only gonna speak on what I see. So it's the good, the bad, the ratchet, the nasty, the ugly, the beautiful, the wealthy, the poor, the 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 rapport, like the rain when it pours, the sun, the cloudy days. Like these are all categories of music, lo-fi and pop, rap, boom bap. Like those are all different emotions about based off the words. Boom bap, uh, trap. Those all create different vibes. We didn't create the landscape of those things. We created the paintings of those things that created those vibes for those communities and categories. And there has to be people who are in position that understand the landscape of how to marginalize and categorize that world without being biased and overly um, drunk of power to where they have to dictate who's coming in and out of uh, who's coming out the gate next. Like, so as someone like myself, I'm out the gate, you feel me? Thoroughbred out the gate. I'm on the track, I'm delivering music different forms not because not because I want to all the time right one because I can two because there are people in position that say that they are in position to st structuralize or categorize or organize the situation and until I meet those people or meet those like-minded individuals like myself, or I could put myself in the groups of those people, I have to be my own a and &R. I have to showcase my talent. I have to showcase my content. I have to showcase my abilities. I have to speak up on the issues and concerns that I see. I have to do those things. And then the universe will put me in position to be around certain people that takes that and makes Voltron and it goes viral and it's dominate, 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 feel me? And it becomes late bloomers, university, the art films, jazz America, Mr. Easy does it. LAK, NASA, trillions, quadrillions. And it's a beautiful thing. And cheers to that. God is the greatest. Late Bloomers, Us TV.
Holla at your boy, LAK. New music out all the time. New product out, new arrivals. Link in bio, link in description. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Holla at your boy, Jazz America. What's up?